this week, we basically, all, a bunch of different classes, um, Mr. Eckhart's um, side of his class and art class and a, bunch, a couple of English classes in the yearbook team got together this huge project. And when I first heard about it, I was a little skeptic. It's like, oh, we're going to make some, you know, things out of cardboard. Okay. But um, when we got to the class and we saw the, um, the video presentation of the other school making the robots, it inspired a bunch of people in class. And that's how the, basically the project was born. Cardboard's not really a traditional kind of art. And for the art students, like myself, um, it really inspires us to think, because we always, we're always told to think outside the box, but that's really <laughs> thinking outside the box, because you know, no one really thinks of using cardboard. I liked it here like, um, the school, because it was pretty much out of the ordinary from what we do in the norm. And I, we really started up some cardboard, and we made some different cool, crazy robots based off the templates he gave us. And we literally just made our, um, our own visions through our imagination. This week was pretty much an interesting week for me because like I learned that you, you could use so much stuff of cardboard. And like the first time I saw these robots made out of cardboard, I was actually kind of shocked and surprised to see that something that looks so cool is made out of something that you just throw out and to recycle. And yeah, it just made me aware of what you can use stuff for. I think Kyle, he's, a pretty cool dude to like. I mean, as a career, he uses the cardboard and paper for uh, his own projects. He, he told us to like us like come up with these uh, a few sketches for this week, and then like some students have like some of their sketches made into these uh, uh into them the robots that they made out there. So he pretty much uh, I guess made or allowed them to take their sketches to the next level. It was something easy to do at first, like creating, coming up with ideals. But then when it got down to cutting, and that was really the hard work. Never would thought you would enjoy doing it, but I really enjoyed it. At the end of the day, everybody just had fun, threw out ideals of what I could put on my robot, how he should look, and it really helped a lot. This project, I would have to say, was a fun experience. I like working with others. You can be creative more with cardboard than like something like metal. It's like limited to things you can do. And I got to meet new people, and I also got to bring out my leadership skills and take control, and, you know. Right, you know, everybody came eventually as a team as we got thoughts together. You know, everybody was always cutting something, doing something. I was just always working with everybody's team. I saw myself doing it. I didn't have one Pacific bot because I was always being called, you know, come help cut with this. So. All of us being in the same um, surrounding where we could use each other's work and stuff we weren't using and we could share ideas about other bots and I think it made everybody's bot even better. Working with like an artist flown out from LA was um, really neat in that um, we were working with um, someone who has done this before and knows what his vision is for this and um, we could really be inspired by that and work off of it. Putting it all together, it took time with the cutting and stuff, but it was all worth it at the end, just having fun and meeting Cal and all the new people was just amazing. I would not trade it in for nothing in the world. So what do you think? My whole life was completely turned on on its end when I walked into, I did a 180 with my life when I walked into the art department for the first time in high school. I was, I was a kid that was really into baseball, I was on the football team, but I was just a tackling dummy. I was, I liked to play a lot of tennis, you know, and I always drew pictures and I always um, played with clay around the house and my parents were really supportive of that, those activities, but they're not artists themselves and they didn't really know what world is open for somebody that just likes to draw and make things, you know? While they encouraged me, I was also encouraged to do other things with my life, you know? But when I walked into the art department in high school, I met this guy named Pal Wright that just turned me on the way that I'm trying to turn these kids on to the, the power of making. 